Hey guys, I'm about to start a new series, and I hope you'll enjoy it. If you do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. First of all, we're told that the undead are beings that don't die, even if you try to kill them. For us immortals who have transcended life and death, dominating one dimension was an easy task. Clearly, it's only a matter of time before we claim the dimension known as Earth as our own. Or so we thought, but it was nothing like that. Then we see an undead pointing forward and shouting, How is this possible? You're just an ordinary human. How are you still alive, even after burning like that? Just then, we see someone burning in the fire, and that person says to the undead, Who would even talk about this? Maybe it's because. Then, while looking at the undead with glowing eyes through the flames, he brings his face close and says, It's because I'm much stronger than all of you. He then delivers a powerful punch to the undead's face shattering its bones. The scene then shifts to two years earlier, where someone is shouting, I can't stay with you anymore. I let you live here because you said you'd find a job. You spend all day drinking and playing games. If this is how you're going to live, then go back to mom and dad's house. Person who is drunk replies, No, I can't do that. I don't want to rely on my parents at this age. His sister, angry, does, But it's okay for you to rely on your sister, right? Tomorrow is New Year's, so find any part-time job. He responds, All right, all right, let's leave all this for tomorrow. My head is spinning right now. He then shuts the door and goes inside, while his sister shouts from behind, You always do this. He goes into his room, takes a deep breath, and quickly jumps onto the bed, saying, Kang Yeon, you're so pathetic. Why are you living like this? I've only done one thing since coming here, and that was to take a small internship at a major corporation. I need to find something else soon. Then he looks around and says, Oh, I forgot to turn off my game when I left. Wouldn't it be nice if real life were like a video game? Then maybe I'd get a good job too, warrior, wizard, swordsman. He falls asleep while saying all this. Suddenly, many system windows appear and the system reports, a general connection to the Heacon dimension has been detected. Earth's defense system has been activated. The connection to the Heacon dimension has been temporarily halted. We then see a massive crack appear outside Earth. And the system says, The tutorial on Earth will now begin. Suddenly, due to a loud noise, he wakes up and looks around, shocked by where he is. He wonders, What is all this? Then he sees a system window in front of him and says, What are these words floating in front of my eyes? The system indicates the time remaining until the connection to the Heacon dimension is fully completed. Four years, 364 days, and 23 hours. Another panel then appears in front of him leaving him even more shocked. The panel welcomes Mr. Kang Hyun to the tutorial, explaining that there are eight stages in total. He reads it and says, So there are eight stages. If you die here, nothing will happen to you in reality, and you can't give up halfway. If you fail, you can't retry. Another message appears, stating that after clearing the tutorial, you'll receive both an awakening and rewards. Dunned, he thinks to himself, This is just a dream. Dreams like this only come to those who are completely addicted to games. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. He owned, your brother will find a job soon. He looks ahead and says, but who even cares if this is a dream or not? Maybe it's a sign from God that you can do anything here, just one last time. Just then, another message pops up. You have entered stage one. We pray that your courage will be enough to save Earth. He looks at it, shocked, and mutters, save Earth? What? Then more system messages appear, saying, Prove your courage and defeat the thing you fear most. The clear condition for this stage is to reach the destination point at the end of the bridge. Failure condition, death, is stunned. Bridge? Suddenly, he finds himself at the bridge and is astonished at what he sees. He's not alone. There are other people with him in this tutorial, all standing on their respective bridges. Below the bridge flows a massive river of lava. He looks around, exclaiming, What is this? Lava? The heat? and there are so many other people here besides me. Everyone else looks equally shocked, unsure of what's happening. One person says, I was definitely at home just a while ago. Pang Hyun, seeing all this, thinks to himself, even if this is a dream, it's such a bizarre one. Suddenly his leg gets burned and he yelps, ouch, it's burning. Is this really a dream? Just then, someone beside him calls out, Kang Hyun. He turns and sees that his sister is there with him. Surprised, he says, Kang Hyun, what are you doing in my first dream of the year? This is ridiculous. His sister replies, That should be my line. But first, is this really a dream? 
Suddenly something said we have to save Earth. Panyan responds, Kanyan, don't be ridiculous. This is my dream, not yours. Annoyed, she retorts, this isn't the time to argue. For in a dream, then why does the lava feel so hot? And if it's a dream, why does our conversation feel so natural? Don't you think something strange is going on here? Counters, the mind can easily be tricked. People often say they can't feel pain in dreams. But that's not true. Once I had a dream where I thought I was really peeing. But when I woke up, I was relieved to find my bed completely dry. His sister, irritated, says, What nonsense are you talking about? You've done a great job embarrassing yourself in front of your sister. Then he starts moving forward and says, I'm going ahead. His sister asks, But where to? He responds, Didn't you see the message? We have to reach the end of this bridge to finish the tutorial. Didn't you notice that? Oh, right. This is my dream. How could an NPC like you know all this? Her brother's words anger her, and she shouts, Who are you calling an NPC? I saw that message too. Aren't you worried that you might fall off by mistake? Kanyon says, Are you crazy? This is just a dream. Even if I die, I'll just wake up from it. Suddenly, they see someone falling into the lava. Person screams loudly as they are engulfed by the lava and completely reduced to ashes. With no bones left, just smoke rising from the spot where they fell. Both Kanyon and his sister are shocked by what they just witnessed. His sister then says, What were you just saying? But Kanyon doesn't reply. He is too terrified, shaking uncontrollably and stammers. That scream. It sounded too realistic. I'm not scared at all, really. Anahyon, thinking to herself, says, Liar. She then takes a deep breath and focuses on the situation. She gets down on her knees and starts crawling across the bridge, telling him, Don't do anything crazy. If you're going to move forward, do it like I'm doing. It's a bit less risky this way. From behind, Kang Hyun says, Honestly, I'm not scared at all, but since you're saying it, okay? She thinks to herself, There's nothing we can do. It's so stubborn. Meanwhile, everyone else on the bridge starts moving forward slowly, crawling on their knees just like them. Kang Ah Hyun calls out, Hey, Kang Hyun looks at her, and she asks, What do you think happened to us? Do you have any idea? He replies, This is just a very realistic scary dream. His sister responds, You're still saying that? By now, you should realize that's not the case. Do you really think such a realistic dream can exist? Something strange is definitely going on here, something beyond our imagination. If we die here, we might actually die in real life. Hearing this, Kang Hyun starts to cry out of fear and says, are you crazy? I've been trying to ignore all of this, but you keep bringing it up. I'm so scared that I'm frozen in place. His sister thinks to herself, he's probably the only big brother in the world that I can't rely on. Kanyon then lies down right there and says, let's rest here for a bit, then we'll move on. My hands and feet are shaking so much that I can't walk any further. And then his sister says, okay, it seems like staying here for a while might be a good idea. He responds, anyway, who knows? There's still a possibility that this could all just be a dream. If we stay here like this, maybe we'll wake up. Just then, a system window pops up in front of them, and they both look at it. The window says, The time allocated to complete this tutorial has elapsed, so the difficulty will be increased. Suddenly, loud noises begin to echo, and he exclaims, What's going to happen now? Everyone is watching the bridge in front of them in shock. Suddenly, with a loud crash, his bridge starts to break from the back and he is shocked by the sound. We then see many bridges breaking in a line, and everyone on the bridges turns around in disbelief. People start running in fear as the bridges behind them crumble. In the panic, some people slip and fall. His sister then says, Now is not the time to stay here, and starts running forward at high speed. He looks at his sister and shouts, Hey, wait for me. Both of their bridges are breaking from behind, and they start running forward. The situation frightens him, but he convinces himself, Everything is fine. This bridge isn't that narrow. If I don't slip, I can reach the end. I just have to look straight ahead and run. Gathering all his strength, he runs straight ahead, thinking, Yes, everything is fine. I've done it. I'm almost there. This will all be over soon. He then looks at his sister, and just then, the bridge above her starts to break and fall. He screams, Kang Ayin, watch out. She looks up, and the debris is about to fall on her. Seeing his sister in such danger, all his fear disappears. He uses all his strength to jump from his bridge directly onto hers. The debris is about to fall on her, but he leaps in and quickly grabs her, pulling her forward at high speed. The entire bridge starts to collapse, but they both manage to reach the end safely. All the bridges collapse into the lava below. 
Many of the people on those bridges had already crossed to safety. Then a system message appears, saying, You have reached level 1. Congratulations, you have cleared stage 1. You are now awakened. You will permanently awaken once this tutorial is completed. Exhausted, he lies down and says, I can't even move my fingers now. His sister asks, Are there more tutorials like this to become awakened temporarily? He responds, Hey, aren't you going to thank the guy who just saved your life? She says, Yes, thank you. Just then, his status window appears, and she asks, What is this? Level? Strength? Agility? Kang Hyun is surprised, thinking, A status window? This is the number one gift everyone wishes for on their birthday. He uses all his strength to look at it, saying, I want to see it. Suddenly, he wakes up in his bed, breathing heavily and looking around in disbelief. Was that really just a dream? Meanwhile, many people are messaging each other, saying, I had a very strange dream today, and others are equally shocked, saying, I had the same dream. Dohaman writes, Did our entire family have the same dream? Does dying in a dream mean something? Please, someone explain it to me. This same experience had happened to people all around the world. A news report states, Our supreme leader has survived even hell. We then see a video with the hashtag, Save the World Challenge. Some people are inviting others with unique abilities to talk in a chat room. A member says, Fight, fight. Finally, a system message appears, saying, Time remaining for the connection to the second dimension to be completed is 4 years, 364 days, 15 hours. And with that, the episode ends. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next episode.